Hey everyone, in the diagram at the right, the quadrilateral BCDE is similar to quadrilateral WXYC. And the first thing we have to do is find the scale factor of um, the first one to the second one. So that's the first one and the second one. So uh, we have to find uh, sides that are proportional. So we have BC is 4. And that matches up to uh, WX. So WX is 6. So the way you write it is BC to WX, which is, or you can write it to BC WX. <clears throat> That's 4 to 6, which equals 2 thirds. So the answer to this is 2 thirds. Now, if you go the other way, um, from W, X, Y, Z to B, C, D, E, that's just going to be W, X divided by B, C equals 3 to 4, which equals 3 halves. <coughs> now we have to find X, Y. So basically, um, let's look at that. Um, we know for X, Y, goes with CD. So I can say BC is to WX as um, CD is to XY. So BC is 4 and WX is uh, 6. And then we have CD is 3 and we don't know um, XY. So XY is our X. So I'm going to flip this around to make it easier. I'm going to say X is to 3. And I'm going to switch this around and reduce it. So this is going to be 3 halves. So you cross multiply. You're going to get X equals 9 divided by 2. Which equals uh, 9 halves or 4.5. So this is 4.5. This is 4.5. Um, this is uh, going to be 6, 3, because these are congruent sides. <clears throat> now, the measure of angle C. So the measure of angle C, uh, that goes with your X. You have to match these up. Okay, so uh, the measure of angle X is... Uh, 117, so that is also your measure of angle C, 117 degrees. This is 4.5. Now we have to find the perimeter of um, this second quadrilateral. <coughs> so the perimeter of WXYZ, and again this is 4.5, 4.5, 6, and 6. So that's just going to be 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 6 plus 6. So these two, 4.5 and 4.5 is 9 plus 12 and that's going to give you 21 is the perimeter. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.